Welcome back to live netball here in Sheffield at the Euro Netball. Um, under, I got thrown off then, sorry. Euro Neville Under-21 competition. It is the championship section behind me. I kind of feel like I'm slightly in the way. Normally on the warm-up, it's uh, a little bit more calm, but England versus Wales any moment on this court behind me. And oh my goodness, is everybody up for it? I think everybody in the crowd is up for it as well. Both teams have come off a win. So Wales took on Scotland yesterday and it was goal for goal all the way through. However, they came out victorious. Victoria Booth getting player of the match in that competition. And England took on Northern Ireland. There was a quarter there, quarter two, where Northern Ireland pushed them to the wire. But in the end, they did win convincingly. Daisy Harrison getting the player of the match out of that competition. So I'm really well aware that Wales are really up for this challenge. England want to keep building pushing their development with these young under 21s and this comes at a time where let's remember the Tani Jameson trophy England were really in contention for that and they were written off early on because they were seen as what was called a b-side with the youngsters and they came out absolutely firing and have made headlines so behind is the next generation of that the next future England athletes and for Wales the next future Welsh athletes ready to take on the world you get to see them right here some greats have graced this competition in the past Fumi Fadojus, the Liv Sheens, the Nee Joneses, the Susie Drains and right behind us you're going to see the next generation of them so whatever you're doing don't go anywhere stay exactly where you are England Wales coming up next Excited to be here this weekend? Yeah, super excited. We've worked really hard to get to this event and we can't wait to put it all out on court. And what's the mood like in camp? The girls are excited, they've worked really hard and they're just ready to play. Some great netball and put out three good performances that they're happy with. And a game a day over three days is, is quite tough. How do you recover? What's it like in camp? I think for us it's really taking the time to reflect and refuel. Like I said, there's always going to be things to work on, win or lose. You are the team that everybody wants to beat. So, I mean, is that a good position to be in or does it make it harder for you on the court? I think it's a good position because it kind of drives that competitiveness and like it means we want to go out there as hard as possible and come away with a really good win kind of thing. So, yeah, I think it's positive. I know it drives me to play better. Yeah. Yeah, and I think for me personally, like, I try not to think about everything too much because any game of netball can be won and lost and, like, we're just out here to win every centre pass, win every quarter, like, we're just trying to do the best that we can. Do you feel that pressure that everyone's almost gunning for you to try and take that scalp? I think for us as England, it's definitely something the girls are aware of and they know they're the ones that everyone's going for, but they use it as motivation and it just keeps them going and wanting them to keep developing and growing in their netball. How's everyone feeling? Really good at the moment. We've done so much practice on and off the court that, uh, yeah, I don't think we can write ourselves off against anyone this tournament. I absolutely love this. How good is that? You must be well chuffed to there now as a coach. Very pleased. <laughs> Very pleased that they feel prepared and raring to go. Welcome to live netball here in Sheffield and as we said before if you have joined us for this game you are in for an absolute corker. Both of these teams have won one game so far both fighting to win a second today. England an impressive display yesterday. <laughs> it's the fourth game of the day. England with an impressive display yesterday against Northern Ireland and Wales winning victorious against Scotland much to their delight. I know that they were very pleased with that and so they'll be hoping to do the same today. A big ask, potentially, but it could be doable. I'm Natalie Pepper and I'm joined in country by Vanessa McKell and Naila. Vanessa, how are you? I'm fine, thanks, yeah. Looking forward to this match. And you've obviously been around the netball scene for a really long time, so you've seen you know, England play before, Wales play before, you know how 
tight and contested it can be, but you know we would expect an England win. But anything could happen, right? Anything could happen in you know for lots of 15 minutes. Who knows? Absolutely. See that huddle now as well. The chats. Millie Carter talking to her team. Sorry, Watkins there as well on the right, fresh from the World Cup, playing for Wales. So a wealth of experience in this Wales under 21 side. There is, and I think. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be quite common, quite different to what we expect. You know, it's not going to be too easy, I don't think, for England, but you never know. Absolutely. We spoke about Victoria Booth earlier, um, first cap and first player of the match for her. And then on the other side, England in their huddle, Daisy Harrison having an absolute stormer yesterday, winning player of the match for her game. Again, a new cap and a new player of the match. So some new faces in there, some old faces. We've seen the likes of Annie Williams before, Sophie Kelly before. Um, but some new faces in there too, so exciting times for England. Definitely, and I think everybody's on eyes on that World, World Cup next year, you know, yeah. the youth one. World Youth Cup 2025 in Gibraltar, the qualifiers the next year. England qualify automatically, but Wales will have to compete for the playoff. However, first, before any of that, is this match all right in front of you now. Let's bring you those all-important starting sevens. For Wales, we have... Starting goal shooter, Sari Watkins. Goal attack, Charlotte Jenning Evans. Wing attack, Lauren Paulson. She entered the game beautifully yesterday, so pleased for her she got that start. Centre, Denny Agnew. Wing defence, Georgia Hellerman. Goal defence, player of the match last time, Victoria Booth. And goalkeeper, Millie Carter. The impact players for Wales are Lowry Broughton. Elise Gallagher, Holly Jones, Daisy Porter and Ellie Porter. And the head coach for Wales is Joe Ricketts. For England then, starting goal shoot, Anya Williams. Goal attack, Sophie Kelly. Wing attack, Alana Pullen. Centre, Phoebe Maslin. Wing defence, Isabel Kay. Goal defence, Daisy Harrison. And goalkeeper, Malena Langer. The impact players for England are Darcy Everett, Lydia Harrison, Freya Henshaw, Jade Kapula and Harriet Jones and the head coach is Leah Kennedy. The umpires for you today are Katie Wayne and Julian Leslie and the reserve umpire is Laura Lovett. So a couple of changes in that England starting lineup. Changes at the back, Darcy Everett now on the bench and, and Marlena Langer obviously doing a good enough job coming on yesterday to get a starting position. Um, I mean, are you surprised by the changes? Do you think that changes that they had at the beginning or are they just rewarding the, the play from yesterday? I would hope they're rewarding them for what they did yesterday because from what I saw the match at home it was a good match and um, they have depth in the squad of 12 and why not use them? Absolutely and we talked yesterday as well about Phoebe Maslin and Sophie Kelly both playing at Team Bath in the NSL and that connection was really slick so hoping to see more of that exciting stuff today. I think it's going to be exciting one way or another this one. Absolutely so it is England that gets underway, having to go back to start off with England. Pressure from Scotland. Victoria Booth getting involved straight away, but pinged for contact. Oh, great ball in. What visibility to see that. Yeah, it wasn't easy though, was it? It wasn't as no. straightforward as it can be for England. Jenning Evans. An unfortunate and uncharacteristic drop from Sari Watkins. Oh, nearly intercepted. Nearly. Just, just getting, yeah, just needing time to settle, aren't they? Absolutely. Sophie Kelly finding. Oh, well picked up Williams, but came in from out of court. Williams, still a youngster, competed at the under-17s in February and actually signed for Manchester Thunder this season. Yeah, it's, um, there's a few youngsters, isn't there, coming into the Super League this year. Yes. And um, this will certainly help them, this exposure this weekend. Yeah, super exciting. The talent coming through in England and Millie Carter as well for Wales, getting herself a training partner Super League contract again for the second year with the Cardiff, new, newly named Cardiff Dragons. Oh. Rolled in, two up on the board already. Well read by Kelly to come over for that second phase, but oh. Just you. need time to settle on that one, don't they? Otherwise they're gonna um, give that away. 
whether Wales can capitalise on it now. Yeah, and you just want to see them play with no fear. And talking of no fear, Jenning Evans. Confident rebound from Sari Watkins. That was on an England centre pass. Nothing on in front. Paulson struggling on that two on one. Jenning Evans. Agnew off one foot. Ooh. When Albert Essen seeing car work coming up. Marlena Langer, however, mm. with a great yeah. turnover. And it's the smarts, isn't it, of England that you've got to really nail. Oh. Kelly. Strong from Agnew, but a really quick take for England. Yeah, rolls in, drops in. Thought that was going to be three yeah. seconds. It was good pressure. Time for a quick shoelace tie for Agnew. <laughs> Maslin finds Kelly. Oh, and I love the clean shot. So nice to watch, isn't it? 4 1. Good from Paulson. Better centre pass for her. Harrison, hands everywhere. Channing Evans, opting for the short. Good from Watkins. Lovely little pop to Jenning Evans. Good from Wales, staying in it. Whoa, that was a, a bit too risky at this time of day. It was <laughs> ambitious, wasn't it? Should we call it ambitious? An excited pass. Yeah. Oh, oh what a turnover. Just from one hand. Oh, come Good pressure from Carter at the back. Nice, nice from Booth. roll, want that. Nice roll off. Good skills from Williams to keep that in. Maslin at the top of the circle. And that's what England do well, a strong defence straight away if there is a turnover. Agnew finds Paulson, Jenning Evans. Oh, it was a wing and a prayer into Watkins. It got there. If it gets there, I guess rewarded. it's Rewarded <laughs> by going through the net. Maslin with the centre pass. Oh, Jenning Evans. Yeah, that yeah. came off Harrison. <laughs> Helen and Booze. We saw them putting a real stint in defence for Wales, bringing the ball through yesterday. Yeah, they brought it for really, really well, didn't they? Controlled and calm. And if they can do the same again today. Yeah, that was a turnover on an England centre, yeah. so this to go level. Paulson, great centre pass, first phase. Oh. So Watkins. well held. Just held by the one hand there. It's five all. Ball. This will be just what Wales need, isn't it, to, to keep them going through this now. Absolutely. Kelly swings to Maslin. Oh. Ooh. Got a rebound. Bound. Really good from Williams. Oh dear. Time will be held here. So it's currently 6-5 to England. I mean, commanding from both play players at the minute. It's, wow. 
you know, this is going to be, um, if it carries on like this, it's going to be really on the edge of your seat game, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really exciting game. I know that Wales were really keen to turn England and, you know, England will be wanting to solidify this. They won't want to go down to Wales at all. You can see now on your screen the two defenders for England talking about how they're going to turn this ball over. And that's what's really key, isn't it, for, for both teams, is that they make the changes on the court. Yeah. Because 15 minutes is a really long time. It's all about decision-making, communication and working as a unit. And that's a great example of it there, because you also have the centre and the wing defence talking, deciding on what they were going to do to break down. Yeah, and I'm not sure whether England will have expected Wales to come out quite so strong. It depends whether they've watched much footage of them. So they'll obviously be now going, OK, what is working, what isn't working, and what can we change? Yeah. So in terms of what can they change, I mean, it's not as easy on their centre pass either for England. Is there anything that you think they can do to allow them to get back to that one, two, three? There's only one going over the line, isn't there? So whether the, you know, and there's two trying to shut them down, but they are getting through. So it's really a matter of what, like, what that second player can do behind the line before she explodes over and what, create, what she can create. Maybe the one that's got two on her needs to do something to take the defence away to give free passage to the yeah. free player. And then allow like a nice, easy second phase. Yeah. We will see whether that little conversation that they've had makes any difference to each team. In the meantime, a round of applause for Lauren Paulson as she heads off for some attention. Wales will restart. They were in possession with the ball. I think it's Elise Gallagher that's come on at wing attack. We will obviously confirm that in a minute. But great, back to six all. Oh, well reached. Maslin. It is Elise Gallagher that's come on at wing attack. Lovely space and great accuracy on that feed from Pullen to Kelly. Yeah, it was as if there's no defence there. Makes it look easy, doesn't she? They are doing on there. Booth. Strong from Gallagher, good entry to the game from her. She was being ridden the whole way by Isabel Kay. Lovely one too with Jenning Evans. Right onto the top of the circle. And they play the short well, don't they, Wales? They do, yeah, they play it quite a lot round the edge of the circle. Taking the defence out of the game. Maslin. Oh, Williams can't quite pull it in. A chance here for Wales. Oh, Lily Carter, the confidence to send that ball. Oh. To the eye of a needle. It was, but unfortunate for Gallagher. Yeah. can't quite pull it in. Oh, Hellerman. Oh, everyone's overcooking stuff. You just want oh. somebody to step up now and take the pace off. Yeah, calm it down a little. Isabel Kay, good for the lateral. Langer, again, you can see now this, the smarts of England. They've shortened it up, they've taken the pace off. Oh. And waited for the option. It have been quite easier to have sent that in though, Munto, but she waited. She, it was great decision making. It's such good smarts, isn't it, to have that knowledge of to know when to slow it down and mix up your tempo. Break in for Jenning Evans. Not ideal at this point in time of the game. Well held by Kelly. <laughs> Carter gets the contact call. Jenning Evans. Oh. Yeah. Isabel Kay just arms in. And that's why your prelim move needs to be wide, right? It has, yeah. To avoid someone like Kay, you've got to get... Oh, the timing needs to be there as well. <laughs> It's not quite on that um, feed in there. Booth finds Carter. Back to Booth. Just working it patiently, Wales, through this middle. Gallagher. Smart, playing it little. Opens up Agnew. Just keeping possession, aren't they? Yeah, just needs to open a vision, Booth. She had Agnew free completely on the left. Doesn't have to be forced in on a two-on-one. Oh, my goodness me. 
or a lifted ball to the shortest person in that <laughs> section. <laughs> oh, stone. And before you know it, it's back to eight all. A chance to take the lead. Just got to remain calm and composed and make good decisions. It sounds so simple from commentary. Daisy Harrison. Now they need to get away from that edge. Yep. And the Williams on the shot. Oh. Who would have said <laughs> it was a long shot? And what? Second sense pass that they've struggled with. Mm -hmm. And yet the one is the one player is free, isn't she? She's just not reacting and coming forward. The good news is you won't be able to see it, but down the back of your screen, Lauren Paulson is on her feet and moving around with the physio, so that's a good sign for Wales. Oh you can see her there in the far right hand side. Yeah. What a ball. Good vision by Sophie Kelly. William. Three goals, the gap. Just after Wales had a chance to take the lead. Yeah, this is the largest gap as well, isn't it? It's been, oh. <laughs> Walking the confidence from distance. Nice front hold by Williams. <laughs> I just love that. It's just like, I'll yeah. catch it anywhere and I'll still put it up. Give me the just ball. Turn and shoot. Hellerman protects the space well. Channing Evans finds Agnew. Nice front. So Wales throw in. Wales are keeping in it, aren't they? Just keeping, keep tight possession. Of, can they do this one? Yeah, they've got to stay in touch. They've got to stay within this 3 4, otherwise. Lovely. Yeah. A big turnover now would be really helpful for them. Nice to mix it up from England. Oh, and there's please. a turnover. Oh, fine. Can they control the this? Yeah, a little short one again. Oh. Contact against Jenny Evans. So close. Kelly in acres of space. Agnew just giving Maslin a little bit of a help along that line. <laughs> Come with me. Kelly. Yeah, all day. Yeah. That's a little side step in front of the player to take her out. In a legal sense. <laughs> of course. <laughs> If there was to be a rebound, she was going to make sure she was in front. Absolutely. Smarts from Elise Gallagher playing it back. Jane Evans. Oh. Oh. Part of you wonders if she'd have left that, whether Langer would have been done for replay, but we are where we are. Maslin. Harrison. Kelly finds Pullen. Williams, we've seen her shoot from there. I think she's going to do. One minute for Wales to get this ball through. Contact against oh. Pullen for pulling. You're welcome here all week. <laughs> that was a bit of a loose one then. Oh, unlucky oh. for Langer. She covered Gallagher and Watkins there. She just couldn't quite pull in. Two of them and just oh, made up for it. <laughs> yeah, Wales just need to go back to playing the easy balls that they were doing. There's no need to put that up. They can play the front. For the gap, 20 seconds. Pullen chases it down. She wants another goal before the whistle. Booth says no. no. Oh, but yes. gifted back. Oh, she's just underneath the post. Oh! Yes. <laughs> well. 
15 goals to England, 10 goals to Wales. A good start, though. A very good start for Wales. Um, yeah, neck and neck, weren't they? Literally, goal for goal. Absolutely. Damage only done in the last few minutes. Yep. So, time now for a little bit of input from the coaches. Joe Ricketts will speak to her team. She may roll the changes. Leah Kennedy, time to have a little bit of input into her England side. We will be back shortly. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Live Netball here in Sheffield. Just finishing off my peanut M&Ms, although <laughs> chocolate is available. So a couple of changes to bring you for the England side. Not too unsurprising, because I think they were pushed by Wales a bit more than they potentially expected. Lydia Harrison comes on at wing attack. Jade Papula comes on at wing defence. Do you think that's where the changes need to be? Well... I think they struggled at times getting over the centre pass, so you know, getting that first phase. So let's see if that makes a difference. It's just one or two times where a little bit more injection could have helped. Absolutely, Wales first off the scoreboard, however. Yeah, they'll be desperate to um, try and narrow that gap and not let it get any further away. Harrison taking the ball nicely to the edge. Yeah. Annie Williams nailing that shot. Good from Hellerman. <laughs> Papula literally took that off her head. <laughs> Harrison. Oh, oh. Boom. oh okay. The crowd didn't like that, did they? No, they did not. A rare miss from Sophie Kelly, but a rare miss. Thank you. 
Coughlin finds Harrison. But again, just that long ball. Contact called again against Carter. They shut that set the pass down well, didn't they? And that might be why the changes were wrong, might not. Mm. Throw in Wales, let's see what they can do. Really need to look after their centre pass to make sure that they don't create too big a gap here. Oh, oh Kapula, outside arm. Oh. And that is the speed of transition that we get from this England side. Oh, great rebound though. And it seems so oh. casual, that pop-off. So, but so effective. I'm not sure what she was looking at the umpire for no. then. It <laughs> wasn't anyone else around. Oh, that's oh. the ones again. They just, just need to play it short again. Yeah. And they were playing it short so well in that first half of the first quarter, weren't they? Some nice patience on the ball, really short passes, stopped the England players getting there. Absolutely. They've got arms that go on for years. What a vision what? pass. Wow. Stunning. And that's the Maslin Kelly connection. I'm sure Mr. Francis is watching. I'm very pleased with that. Breaking call, a gift. Can they use it? Kapula nearly says no. Oh. Yeah, nice. Option number one, two, and then gave option number three, Jenning Evans. Lovely shot. some work to do now haven't they they need to keep that possession and keep calm when they've received it Booze Agnew Gallagher lovely That's feed better. caught the defender yeah. with the head down now what can England do quite a long <laughs> bounce pass that was wasn't it two Opting to go back. Kelly just creates space. She's always in the open side. Like just, you know, if there's a load of people on one side, she'll just yeah. hang out the other way. It's a great rotation of the circle. Gallagher. Oh, mm. finds Watkins. What a connection. What a side. Still staying in touch. Six goals in it. Just needs to run the line of the ball, Booze, but great to see a contesting for absolutely everything. Papula. Maslin finding Kelly. Oh, Too good. Jenny Evans finds Gallagher. And right off, Agnew. Yeah. Oh! The reading and the timing of that. If only she could have kept possession. Yeah, good fake by Agnew. Opening up Jenny Evans. She doesn't want to shoot oh. from there, though. No. Watkins. Yeah. Oh, home alone, Anya Williams. Yeah. That was good vision. And it was the fake, wasn't it, to the pocket? Draw yeah. Millie Carter out. And 
create the home alone. Well saved, Jenny Evans. Gallagher was on one foot. What a fake! Side by Maslin. This is an opportunity. One that Wales need to capitalise on. Need to meet every ball, play it short, play it smart. Oh, <laughs> Daisy Harrison. And that's what they've got to do, isn't it? Get those defence moving. Oh, get moving. Create that space and just, and then hope the feed is right. Oh, full oh, blown. I mean, yes. they clapped that. <laughs> We're back to within four. My gosh. This is the game we wanted. This is absolutely the game we wanted. England oh. in possession, though. Annie Williams just having a little game with herself. I think so. Agnew, nice centre pass. That was well kept in. It really was, because she was under all sorts of pressure from Maslin, wasn't she? And nearly got into the hands of the shooter. Oh! <laughs> well, I mean, if England had watched Wales yesterday, they would have known that this is a Jennings Evans special. I think this might be the fourth time she's done it this competition. <laughs> Just beautiful. Kelly. Nice little rotation between her and Williams. It's a long shot. What can after. Wales do now? Oh. That's such a shame. We would have gone to a two-goal game, oh, maybe. Oh. But there's pressure of England. If they make a mistake, they work really hard to get it back. Well, let's see what we can do this time. Second attempt on this through court to goal to reward the turnover of the rebounding of Millie Carter. Booth. What can she see in front? Two black oh. dresses. <laughs> it's a shame because it was again. a good screen from Watkins. Yes. And now it's not open. Jenning Evans, it's a long shot. Oh, Ooh. it's a beauty. This to go within two, two. Vanessa. Oh. Gallagher, completely on extension. Langer does enough, oh. it comes off Watkins. England playing themselves back into the game. Oh. They're not giving up the Welsh team, are they? Absolutely not. Papula caught standing and Hellerman yeah. runs through it. Kelly. Harrison opting to reset back to the line. Not really going anywhere. No. Oof. It's a good job. Anya Williams can reach really high. She saved that for them. She absolutely did. Well. Having a change here, is it goal defence? Yeah, Darcy Everett coming on. Daisy Harrison going to the bench. Oh, she wasn't ready for that ball. She wasn't, but I think everyone was snoozing for a bit, weren't they? And Booth can't pick it up. She needs to get head up and get back in the game. She's doing a good job. Back yourself. Can't win everything. The gap extends, we're back out to five. Oh, and a footwork call. And it, this is what happens with England, you blink too much and all of a sudden they've just taken the lead and put goals on the board. Tick, tick, tick. Nothing on for Everett, great defence. Wales need to look after this, bring it through. Keep that scoreboard pressure. Agnew. Just keep possession. Gallagher. Ops to go back, but... Yeah, no. That is a pinpoint accurate pass by Jenna Evans. She plays with such maturity and confidence. Oh. 
Harrison points back. Open up. Oh, they can't quite pull it in. Full of uncharacteristic errors here, and Carter. Really hard to see around the arms of Williams. Agnew, nice width from her. Good patience here. They have to keep going forward, though, Wales. Yeah, they've, they've got to do something, haven't they? Otherwise, it's going to... This last three minutes again, they can't afford to do the same as last time and let England take a few goals off of them. Absolutely, can't oh. slow onto and the there ball. there she goes. Yeah, just slow down. Jenny Evans onto that, and Darcy Everett said, nope. That's mine. Williams. <laughs> Wales, centre pass. They really need this now, don't they, to stay within it. Yeah, and they'll be kicking themselves for the opportunities that they've had. So they need to look after their own. That's a nice weighted ball. They're feeding Watkins really well now. Oh, <laughs> Harrison. It's well taken, but not the best of pass from a teammate. And the claw from Annie Williams scoops it down. Got it. Agnew. Four Wales. Who's nice, calm and collected off loads to Jenny Evans. Front for Watkins. Yeah, nice, easy centre pass there for Wales. I don't think King Kong will have given many more of them. Watson to go back again. Williams wanted that on the goal line. She keeps calling for it. Yep. Oh! oh. And they set up for that. Millie Carter was on the fly. Booz was covering the back. It's just the timing on that yeah. run, isn't it? And even all the angle. Yeah, absolutely. A bit more of an angle on it, and she could have had that. Popped into reset. Agnew. Jenny Evans needs to play herself in. That's it. Pulls the back defender oh. off, but can't pull it in this time, Watkins. This is where England are lethal, and this is exactly what happened oh. in the last quarter. They just oh, went oh, on a oh, run. Oh. Last minute pain for, in for Wales. Yep. It's literally England are pulling away again out in the last. Three minutes, same as last time, last quarter. Yeah, quarter one repeating itself. They could do with one more on the board now, Wales. Yeah, Langer says no. Oh. Nothing to draw off that time. And that's the focus, isn't it? And the composure and the experience to play something a little bit different. Williams, unanswered goals here for England. Still enough time for another one. Maslin's going to take a time getting into the yeah. circle. Smarts from Maslin to not take that. It is 32 goals to England, 24 goals to Wales. So a better quarter for Wales, but England still pulling ahead. Pulling away, aren't they? They just, um, it was in that last, the first, what? Two thirds of the quarter again, and Wales started to pull it back. They got closer, and then just a few little mistakes. Absolutely. Well, a bit of time now for Joe Ricketts to have a quick chat with her team, work out how yeah. they can maintain that focus for a full 15 rather than 12, and we'll see what happens. Make sure you don't go anywhere because it is the 224, but anything could happen. We'll see you after the break.
Welcome back to live netball here at the EIS in Sheffield. This is the heart of what was the industrial revolution and is right now the heart of netball. The under 21 competition, Europe netball championship section. A couple of changes to bring you here. It's England versus Wales on your screen. It's currently 32-24. England have made some changes. There's one right now on your screen. Harriet Jones has come on at goal attack for England. Isabel Kay has come on to centre. Looking round at the Wales team. Can't see any changes as of yet on that. Oh, good pressure from Sari Watkins. No, Wales are staying with what they had, haven't they? This looks like they've put the same seven again. And are you surprised by that or not? Well, I mean, they keep pulling it back. They just need to be able to maintain it for the full 15. So, you know, maybe this is their last chance to see what you can do. Oh, offside against Gallagher. And they need to keep it clean, Wales, because it, this gives England almost a breather. They've put lots of pressure on, haven't they? Yep. And they just get a free pass. It allows them to reset up. Okay, lost the ball to Jones. Lovely shot. And this will be for runner three to start the quarter. Williams swings it. Oh, oh what beautiful vision. And in a free space. Oh, Carson needs to get two hands on that now. Two hands to every rebound. <laughs> That's it, runner three. What they're going to do now? Can, Wales need to keep hold of this. You're absolutely right, they really do. It's. Oh! But it's still there. All in a small space here, Wales. Someone needs to come out of that, make the defenders move. Agnew. Watkins stood still with her arm out, but Darcy Everett is hanging. Langer's in front. Gallagher finds Jenning Evans. Court stood still, but... Not as clean as she was hoping. Gallagher, two on one. Jenning Evans. Great shooting. Pressure was on the shot as well. She had to sink it. Ten goals, the difference. Lovely direct ball to Annie Williams. <laughs> just so clinical. I love watching Annie Williams play. She's clinical. Misses, I'm just there for the rebound. Yeah. And magically appear in the right space. I know it's not magic, but <laughs> it looks and like it. And she makes it look it like it. And that's a craft on its own. Oh, yeah. look at that, the timing there. She was ready for that. She was hunting, looking. Yeah, better hold from Watkins. Just patiently using the backup. Jones on one foot. Beautiful offload. Not often you see the miss. No, it's not, is it? Well, and then the now. rebound. Yeah, because I've not got the rebound either. That's not. Oh, lovely take by Booth. Agnew, Gallagher, all down the sideline at the moment. Just that final ball in. That's what you were saying before. Yeah, they just need to be a bit more careful, don't they? 
so there's some good movement. They just need to really be clinical on that feeding. Absolutely agree. Work it to the edge. And Wales are using them short passes so much, so well early on in the game. But it's hard, isn't it, to maintain that focus against a relentless England side. Ooh, Ooh I thought that was going to be another <laughs> three seconds. <laughs> she was certainly dancing with the three. Yes. Oh. Oh, fair play, Darcy Everett. Hits the floor. Yeah. Straight back up. Player of the tournament back at the under 17s. Herself has a Super League contract this season, and in the meantime, a great shot by Jenning Evans. Big long swing. Oh. Unlucky Millie Carter. I thought she was going to get that one. She read it well. She did. It was either the timing or just slightly angle off, wasn't it? One or the other. Helen and both moving at the same time, Gallagher and Jenning Evans. Oh. Back and up. Yeah, and she looked it up too long as well. It was obvious where it was going. Gallen. You can't look like that so long and then release it against this kind of defence at all. And can we take a minute to appreciate that? Hop right under the post on one foot and still manages to shoot. I can't shoot that with two feet on the ground. <laughs> well picked up by Hellerman. Yeah, body on mine though to go. Booze, Agnew. Jenning Evans, I'm pretty sure, was just saying that. Play it short. Booze, Agnew. That's a better way to pass, but it was the hold from Watkins that made that on. Gallagher. I mean, and another one. I can see what she was seeing, but I mean, that ball was never going to go, was it? No, it was just not long enough, not high enough. It hadn't. And it the legs. And the difference, the other side is Williams yeah. came out of the line of the defender for that long ball, whereas Watkins was stood behind her. If you're going to throw that long ball, you have to have had your goal shooter moving at least. Williams. Oh, they're pulling this out now, aren't they, England? They really are. 9-4 so far this quarter to England. And you did say off the air that you thought the second half England would put their foot down. Yeah. I think you might have been right, Vanessa. And it's interesting, isn't it? We saw Daisy Harrison do such a good job yesterday, but... It, this combination between Everett and um, Langer just seems to be turning a little bit more ball. They seem to be working together a bit more, a bit more communication. Yeah, definitely. The, yeah, there's some un proper unit, they're talking. You can, you can see there's some connection there, whereas, as you say, in comparison. Are going? Jones. Oh, ah. great rebound, Millie Carter. Booze, she's, managed, she's got quite a few rebounds, hasn't she, today? Yeah, unfortunate for Watkins, couldn't yeah. pull that one in. Oh! Contact against Papula, against Watkins. Yeah, let's try to go through the play up. Bit of water on the court. Love this. Meg Fay in your screen now, wiping the floor. An absolute <laughs> legend of Europe netball. Competition manager works really hard behind the scenes and also wipes the floor. There is nothing that woman can't do. A multitasker. <laughs> Gallagher. Nice front by Jenning Evans. Well weighted for the short. Oh! <laughs> Papula. Oh, oh what pins the arms. Hellerman. Gallagher. That's a great ball. 
and a great and finish. And then it. Stunning. That's a turn. I mean, no pressure here, Wales. You only need six more of those. And to score off your own. Hellerman, nothing yeah. on. <laughs> I thought that was a three-second call. Agnew. Jenning, Evans. Oh, what a fake. Oh. I tell you what, she Amazing. nearly faked Watkins as well. Oh, my gosh. They're not letting, letting it go, are they? They're going to keep fighting with any luck and give us a game. The second quarter half could be really bad. And you wouldn't expect anything else from the Welsh. No. Look at that. Harrison. Three red dresses in front of them. Oh, and a oh. great screen for that rebound from Booth and Carter. No. Exactly. Oh, but what an intercept. <laughs> and a masterclass in not standing still to receive the ball. Definitely. Let's see if they can take this one through. Hellerman finds Agnew. Gallagher. Watkins is out. They're all on that sideline. Oh! oh. Beautiful timing on that entry. Great shooter to shoot Amazing. Ball. The crowd has lifted. <laughs> yep. You can't the write the Welsh off. They're still going. Uh, oh, no. Miscommunication there. Papula finds Kay. Yes. Yeah, nice fake. And a lovely placement to Williams. Cheeky. Cheeky but effective. Good shot by Jones. Could it be another Ooh. run here for England? Good shot down by Booth. And it, the draw to pull the two defenders and just create that space. But can't quite sink it, and that was a good screen. Unfortunately, yeah. Jenning Evans and Gallagher screening the fly from the back defenders. Not sure whether you saw that on your screen, but absolutely smart. Oh. Oh. It doesn't want to go through the post on either side here. Lovely distribution of the ball. Isabel K not too happy with that, but she did try to run through the player. Looks like we're going to get a change on the Welsh team. Sure that's somebody just putting on a bib. I think you are right. Nice. Again from Jenning Evans, she's putting in a stint today. Hagnew, oh. just got to go through the net and it does. Yeah. Again lifts the crowd, chance here to double up. Can they do it? Yeah, just pushing in the back of Gallagher through that couple up. Jenning Evans out. Close by Langer, but too good. It's goal for goal this quarter. Time is held. Yeah. New wing attack. Wing defence. Okay. I'm surprised, to be honest, but um, I'm quite happy to be proved wrong. Mm -hmm. Let's see what she can do. Absolutely. For a third. Yeah, not set quite. It's Ella Porter that's come on at wing defence for Wales. It's not the change so much that I'm, I'm surprised at, it's the timing. You know, you've just got the flow back. You normally make a change when the flow's not in your direction, and I can't help but think that. They maybe just wanted to see how it works, ready for the last quarter, see if they can fight it back. Yeah, true. Let Already her, let her settle in, ready. Yeah. So. 
Langer finds Papula. Okay. Oh! oh Williams. right on the... Left empty again, home alone on the, underneath the post. And she was waiting for it as well, wasn't she? <laughs> she was Give just me the ball. Yeah. I'm here. That's what you want from your goal shooter, though, isn't it? You want them to demand yeah. it. And another great take. Calm as a cucumber, Annie Williams. Time oh, held again, oh. another change. Sees Elise Gallagher go to the bench. There's 30 seconds left. But again, like you say. Yep, just maybe letting them feel the ball and feel the game before they take the full quarter, the last quarter. Yeah, it could be, could be. Ooh. Oh. Or maybe this was how they try and stop that rot right at the end. Maybe. Daisy Porter that's come on at wing attack. 15 seconds. England will have trained for this. Oh. Smart this time. They've held time. Yes, mm. Millie Carter. Great intercept. But it won't make too much difference to the scoreline. 34 to Wales. They scored 10 that quarter. England 46. Kept them to 14, the lowest that they've scored, but still a winning quarter for England. Yep, another one. And I think, um, unfortunately, I think it's maybe a little bit out of the way now. Potentially 12 goals is a big ask, isn't it? It is for any In team, the... but, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they'll come back. They'll try. They, yeah. will, they will give us a game this last quarter. And everything to play for, because whatever they put out in the last yeah. quarter, they go into the next game with, right? Exactly. Well, don't go anywhere. A little bit of time now for the coaches to have their input. We'll be back very shortly with the all-important fourth and final quarter. in control when I'm driving as well. So Welcome back to live netball here at this EIS arena in Sheffield. 
we have the last quarter of Wales versus England. There have been a couple of changes for Wales. Charlotte Jenning Evans, I think, has moved to... Oh, no, she's still at goal attack. It's a new wing attack. Hold on, I've messed that up. It's the wing attack that changed last quarter. Just getting far too into the game, you see. It is still Daisy Porter. Yeah. And Freya Henshaw has come on at goal shooter for England. Right into the game of the first goal. Nailed first it. First touch, first goal. One apiece. Agnew. Oh. <laughs> Great strong drive. Goal shooter demanding it. Ah, oh, Langer. Great strength by Watkins. Lovely shot. For the youngsters watching, the way she was holding that space of her body to have the ball in front was really good. Really clean example. Harriet Jones. Yeah. Some nice long balls coming through the court. Oh, breaking. This is not the time you want to be making the errors. Darcy Everett bringing the ball through strong, but oh, can't quite keep her feet that was down. A, yeah, uncharacteristic that, wasn't it? Just totally off balance and yes, and never backing up. Yeah, just again, just refocus, settle. Booth nearly great fly. So I'm sure you're well aware of this, uh, Vanessa, because you will have been listening to our footage, <laughs> but by the end of this game, you need to have given me, in secret, your player of the match for this game. Yes. So mm. make sure you're watching. Lots of players in contention for that. Oh. Harrison. Oh, nice little pop from Henshaw to Jones. Wales on the ball. Better. Play it to the edge, play it in. And sink it. Easy, really, right? Yeah, easy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what all the fuss is about. Oh. Long challenge. <laughs> Harrison find, finds nice. herself in the circle. Bit of a fight to create the space. Oh. Oh. Third attempt. Doesn't need a fourth. <laughs> Thank goodness. Agnew with the centre pass. Opting to go back, Jenna Evans, nothing on in front. Oh, Langer had a go. Oh. Stunning entry from Jenny Evans. The timing, uh, never mind where she'll land this, right under the post. Absolutely. Papula finds Harrison. Everett, Harrison. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. Just lifted her foot slightly on that. The fake was a bit too much. A chance. I think for she Wales. forgot it was a fake. <laughs> Thought she was letting go of the ball. Carter. Middle from Jenning Evans. Oh. oh. Two on one. That shouldn't land, but it does. Credit to Watkins. Lovely shot. Five all so far in this quarter. Yeah, 
she should have stood still again, came out, thought she was in a space and stood still. Just that extra step to meet the ball would have made a difference. Absolutely. Turning Evans. Oh, one of them short passes are back to them now. Oh, Langer on the rebound. Oh, nearly oh. stood still the opposite way, yeah. but Everett shields it with a body. Harrison. Oh. Who's disappointed with that? She thought she'd. I think she thought she was clean. Nice roll by Henshaw. Okay. Yeah, oh. home alone. They can't afford to give England too many of them, can they? Oh. Well pulled in by Wonderful. Kay. I mean, unfortunately, there it was a bit cheeky to put that through two on one, but they come out with it, England, in a great shot by Pentrall again. This is a little run for England now. Kay again to Harrison. Good hustle by Carter, but just the physical presence of Henshaw, how she steps across to put herself in front. Just need to stay in the game on the discipline here, Wales. Very quickly gone on another four goal run, England. This is what we say, isn't it? Blink and you miss the number of goals that they can put on the board in such a short space of time. Oh. Certainly silenced the crowd a little bit. It has. Okay. Oh, one hand by Henshaw caught that. I mean, that was really bad English by me. She caught it with one hand is what I meant to say. <laughs> But again, a good feed, wasn't it, from the centre. She's just, she's fed some great ball. So, some changes here. Sees Sari Watkins going to the, to the bench. Charlotte Jenner Evans going to goal shoot. And Elise Gallagher coming on to goal attack. You kind of feel that with Watkins going to the bench, they've, they've given up on the game per se and maybe resting her for tomorrow. It certainly feels that way, doesn't it? She's been, you know, her positioning in the circle and her holding has been phenomenal at times and just makes you wonder. Footwork, call know. against Gallagher. Just over seven minutes left. Papula finds Harrison. Nice front position by Henshaw. Agnew. Look at the wall that the England girls are putting on over that transfer line and that first phase. That opting to go back each time out of the Welsh. Opting or being well, forced to? A bit of both, <laughs> isn't it, I think? I think they stopped trying to force it through what they were doing earlier, so they're now opting to go back, but... Um, which is what they should, you know, perhaps should have done in some of the other ones where they forced it. Oh, what a ball! What vision to see that! Absolutely, Harrison. <laughs> They're just proving you wrong now. They're like, look, we can yeah, get it forward. We can get forward. Porter. Oh, oh through no. the legs. Langer finds Harrison. Everett let that go before she, she even landed. <laughs> That's confidence. Isn't it just? Lovely, lovely, lovely play by England. It's just really sticking together for them now as they power on ahead. 59 goals to 40. 
13 goals scored to six so far and still five minutes left. The umpire took that in a hand and, yep, lost the whistle. Fair play, she signed it out really yeah. well. <laughs> Agnew, everybody moving to the same space. Oh, so it's coming for that. She, oh. And it was the work out the front of Papula and Everett and Kay. Amazing, absolutely. And to be rewarded by the goal from a teammate. And that's when we talk about unit play rather than playing individually. Langer's directing at the back. Gallagher. And again, just this setup from England. Going offside there. Yep. Yeah. Agu. She's there again. Yeah. Well up by Everett at the back. Oh yeah, one ball. And as disappointed as I am for Wales that it's, it's getting harder, it's actually really nice as well seeing this England unit come together a bit more at the back now. Collectively turning ball mm. and the vision, you know, it's like Harrison's done a couple of those, just a little bit of a fake, opens up the up. Vision to see what's going on in front. Henshaw and Jones working together. It's just starting to look a bit more like poetry in motion. And the screen from Henshaw to stop that fly from Carter. Yeah, they're pulling it together. Look at that. What a take from the winger to take it and have the support and back up just to, to pass it on. Oh. As Carter. you say, there's many contenders for a play of the match in this game, isn't there? There is. Pressure's on you, though, Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> Can't tell anyone at home. That's a surprise, but you have to write it down on my pad down mm. here. You've got three minutes. And I tell you what, the way some of these players have played, good luck. <laughs> I, I think everyone can hear you through the mic. <laughs> Great shot by Gallagher. Long ball. Oh, Carton! Oh. oh. Lucky, but the speed at which England take, take that. It. No sitting around waiting for everybody to reposition. It's whistles gone and take the ball, yeah. Right, time is being held. Jenning Evans going back to goal attack. Holly Jones coming on, I do believe, to goal shooter. Centre's desperate to take the ball. Still busy sh changing bibs. Uh, that is Victoria Booth has gone to goal defence. And I think it might be Lowry Broughton that's come on, but I'll confirm it in a minute. Big shot. Oh, nailed it. Nice ball through. Circle edge. Oh. Yeah, she that wasn't... got covered, didn't they? Yeah, I mean, I think lucky for that call because it wasn't the best choice of passes. <laughs> Lovely front from Jones. Yep. One minute and 
just one minute left now. 20 goals. Can they, cl can they close the gap? Good draw from Jenny Evans, but that fight from Kay. Oh, oh, beautiful pass. And a great goal. I just need to keep that discipline, don't they, now? The last 40 seconds. Oh, lovely oh, take. Big shot. Oh. Still 18 seconds. I'm sure they'll get it. Oh, no, no. Oh, time oh. for a Wales goal. Oh, come on, Mike. Can they finish it? Come on. Keep possession and finish it. Oh, oh no. Just overcooked. And that's it. 44 wow. goals <laughs> to 63. I mean, it was a game of two halves, really, wasn't it? It certainly was. I mean, um, England put the foot down in the second half, but Wales didn't give in. They kept going. There was some great turnover, some great ball. Just need a bit more discipline in certain areas. Absolutely. A couple more second quarters, but well yeah. played for both teams. We will see both of these teams on here tomorrow. Then Wales, having lost one now, need to beat Northern Ireland tomorrow to put themselves in contention for the silver medal. England need to beat Scotland to win the gold medal. If Scotland win, then anything could happen. Wow. But I know it's crazy, isn't it? Don't go anywhere. We have the player of the match, or Vanessa's player of the match, coming up, and the coaches' interviews. And also make sure you're back with us tomorrow from 9 o'clock for Gibraltar versus Switzerland. But interviews coming up shortly. Excited to be here this weekend? Yeah, super excited. We've worked really hard to get to this event and we can't wait to put it all out on court. And what's the mood like in camp? The girls are excited, they've worked really hard and they're just ready to play. Some great netball and put out three good performances that they're happy with. And a game a day over three days is, is quite tough. How do you recover? What's it like in camp? I think for us it's really taking the time to reflect and refuel. Like I said, there's always going to be things to work on, win or lose. You are the team that everybody wants to be. So, I mean, is that a good position to be in or does it make it harder for you on the court? I think it's a good position because it kind of drives that competitiveness and like it means we want to go out there as hard as possible and come away with a really good win kind of thing. So, yeah, I think it's positive. I know it drives me to play better. Yeah. Yeah, and I think for me personally, like, I try not to think about everything too much because any game of netball can be won and lost and, like, we're just out here to win every centre pass, win every quarter, like, we're just trying to do the best that we can. Do you feel that pressure that everyone's almost gunning for you to try and take that scalp? I think for us as England, it's definitely something the girls are aware of and they know they're the ones that everyone's going for, but they use it as motivation and it just keeps them going and wanting them to keep developing and growing in their netball. How's everyone feeling? Really good at the moment. We've done so much practice on and off the court that, yeah, I don't think we can write ourselves off against anyone this tournament. I absolutely love this. How good is that? You must be well chuffed to there now as a coach. Very pleased, <laughs> very pleased that they feel prepared and raring to go. So I'm here with Isabel Kay from England. You are the commentary player of the match for that game. I mean, stunning performance. Pleased with the win? Yeah, I'm really, really pleased. Um, we talked about like tactics for the game and how we're going to implement them. And I think we did that today. So 
and you built all the way through because Wales kept trying to come back and, and yeah. you just seemed to find the next gear after the next gear. Yeah, we knew it would be a tough game, Wales always bring it, so it was just about sticking to our game plan and I think we did that today. So. And I think one of the things that we were amazed about, what is this one-handed catch that you can do? <laughs> you can take it out of the air. I mean, is that loads of war work? How do you get uh, to that point? I don't know. <laughs> I've got quite long arms, so maybe that helps, but yeah. <laughs> and Scotland you're facing tomorrow. If you win that game, that's the gold medal for you. Yeah. It's still going to be a tough game. How are you going to prepare? Um, I think going into it in the same way we did today, just sticking to game plan, and I think, yeah, it'll be a good game. Well, really well done. Really impressive performance. Go and enjoy the win, and Thank we'll you. see you on court tomorrow. Thank you. Well played. Good job. So, going to scan around, see if I can get Leah and Joe. Stay with me. They all sit down and they ignore me. I'm gonna, just going to go and steal Leah. I'll just go and join in her huddle. I'm really sorry, girls. Just stealing your coach. Hi, Leah. No, don't be sorry. I mean, I'm well aware I'm being that intrusive media person that comes in when you're trying to give you feedback, but wowza, not all your own way. Wales push you to the end, if you come here for me. But um, a stunning performance, especially towards the end. Everything just started to click, didn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think that's um, the key for us. We know we're putting out some new combinations out there. We've had girls come in from under 17s, girls that have been in the academy for a while, and then some new ones into the academy. So for us, just getting them to build through things and just learning from stuff that isn't working, implementing it themselves, communicating on court, and that was what was key for us today. And they managed to do that, and they implemented it all in that last quarter, which is what we asked. And we were saying up in commentary, you know, Wales came back, they tried to pull back, but it's almost like you blink and all of a sudden you guys have put like six, seven, eight goals on the board. How do you get them to keep that focus to be able to push on that quickly? Well, that's what we ask of them is to like really think about runs. And once we've converted um, a turnover, us then being really disciplined to convert our set of passes. And that's something they've been really, um, really trying to implement this game. And I think they did some great moments of that then. Um, and it's something we're definitely going to uh, look at implement for the rest of the weekend and you've got Scotland tomorrow and they came out really firing against Northern Ireland today did you match, manage to watch any of that game I did it was a great game to watch I've watched yesterday's and today's um, of Scotland so definitely looking forward to that game it'll be one we know the, the Scotland England games are always a great one and we know physicality wise they'll come at us and, and our girls are just uh, yeah ready to, to kind of tidy up that, our game and implement and go into the game any strategy tactics you want to share Definitely won't be sharing any, but um, we're just going to keep building what we're working on. Well, really well done today. Good luck tomorrow. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much. Right, I am going to grab Joe. so I'm really sorry, Ben, behind the camera. I'm off walking again. This is just how it is. I can see her, so I'm going to grab her. Am I grabbing Joe or am I grabbing Jen? I'm grabbing Jen. I've just seen her. She's still smiling. And you've got to be smiling after that performance because they never gave up, did they? No, they didn't, and actually... We're so proud of that group and to get all 12 players on court today and explore some different combinations and show the versatility within the group is really exciting. And I think we're just really proud that we didn't let that completely blow out. Um, some of the other matches that we've watched, unfortunately, they were in it for the first half and then let England pull away and we didn't. We stuck in it for the majority of the match, so we're really proud of the girls. And that's what we said in commentary, you know, there were moments where you went on like four or five goal runs, which is no mean feat against an England side. No, and you know what? Some of these girls have never played against an England side before. We've got multiple girls gaining their first caps. Um, and to do it in this environment, you know, in, in this arena with this crowd and under this occasion is massive. And it's just showing the talent that we've got coming through the pathway and what it's going to do for the seniors in the future. And I know that even though you came out sort of the, the wrong side of that result, there were many of your players that could have put their hands in the ring for player of the match in that game as well. I mean, just an excellent display. Jenny Ning Evans came alive today. She did. I had a bit of a stern word with her, I'm not going to lie. Um, we had some very um, stern conversations with some of the players around what we really needed from them to improve from yesterday's performance because although we got that win, we still want more from them. But I also want to give a shout out to Daisy, who was our reserve player, who came up and got some court time today and did a phenomenal job at wing attack and for all of the other girls getting their caps. And I think that um, the girls were outstanding today. I'm particularly impressed by our defensive unit. I thought they were absolutely phenomenal. Um, and I think there's loads of learning for us to take in tomorrow, into tomorrow. So we're really excited. So Northern Ireland tomorrow, final game. If England beat Scotland and you beat Northern Ireland, then it's the silver medal. So actually you have to throw everything you've got that game, don't you? 
Yep, we rest, we regroup, we recover and we go again and the girls are more than up for it so I'm sure that we can put out a really good display again tomorrow. Well, really good luck. If you put ending out like you did today, it'll be great for us to watch. So thank you very much. Thank you so much, Nat. Thanks. Take care. That is it. That's a wrap for day two. I mean, blink and you miss it. That's eight games done, four games left. None of the medals have been decided yet. However, we still don't know where anyone's going to finish. And it all comes down tomorrow. We start bright and early. We will be here live from 10 to 9. So set your alarms, whatever other plans you had, make sure you cancel them. We'll see you here.